Okay, I'm going to try to do a very good job of keeping the football videos and the regular vlogs separate. This is a regular vlog. So I'm getting married in 10 days. That's crazy talk. And I think the weirdest part of it is not going to be the uh, is not going to be the fact that I'm getting married. Um, the ceremony won't be weird. The wearing of the ring probably won't be that weird. Um, it's going to be the cohabitation. You see, I'm a I'm a pastor at a at a church. So Aaron and I don't live together before we're married. In fact, we're both at, at the risk of being too overly graphic. We're both still virgins. So that's going to be an interesting dynamic change to our relationship. However, um, I think that we'll integrate that into the relationship relatively easily. Um, it is the cohabitation that worries me. It worries me because this apartment has only ever been my apartment. Even when Samara lived here, it always felt like my apartment because he never brought a whole lot of stuff into the apartment. The, uh, the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, none of that changed. He didn't bring a lot of stuff with him. Uh, he just brought what he needed into his room and then when he moved out, he took what he had out of his room and the apartment didn't change at all. Like for instance, the shelf behind me, this uh, entertainment center belongs to Erin. This TV, Erin. This side of the shelf is all her stuff. This side of the shelf is all my stuff. Now we're not doing this because we're people who don't believe in intermingling our things and, and we're still trying to hold on to the separate me and the separate her and, and not integrate our lives. We've agreed to integrate our DVD collections. We said that's perfectly okay. We're gonna keep our books and our action figures separate. And yes, we both have contributing action figures. See, Erin is a is a Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Twilight fan. I am a Star Trek, Lost, uh, Power Rangers, and Batman Superman fan. So we're keeping our action figures uh, segregated for a little bit. Oh yeah, so remember how in my last vlog I told you guys that my the brakes on my car went while I was driving down the road and ran through an intersection? Yeah, well I got a call this evening that it's gonna cost about $500 to fix my car, and the Kelly Blue Book value of it for trade-ins is only like $300. So guess what? I'm getting a new car. And I hate to spend the money because this is a, a, a big transitional part of, of my life and I'm not exactly sure what my budget can sustain. I guess I, I'm kind of sure. I mean, I, I Aaron and I put together a, a set of numbers in terms of uh, what we each make and, and how, and, and we're, we're both doing well enough money-wise, but the, the addition of a car payment when I didn't expect one is not something I'm looking forward to. I drove a 99 Taurus that my dad gave me. It was all but paid for. You know, it was paid for. It was completely paid for. And I didn't have any sort of payment whatsoever besides gas. <sighs> Great. Anyway, so I'm gonna be spending a good chunk of my weekend with Aaron car shopping, trying to find something we both like, that we both uh, feel comfortable driving, and something where we, uh, that we can see ourselves driving for the next couple years. Because anything we buy at this point is gonna to have to last us a couple years. Anyway, that's probably enough talky talk for the night. It's after 1 a.m. This guy needs to go to bed so he can go to work in the morning. Have a great night, guys. Bye.